Hello and welcome to a new TWS demo video. Um, Moritz is also here. Hello. And I think, Moritz, do you want to tell them what we're going to drive today? Yeah, I'm going to go and do that. So given that American roots were pretty much non-existent in TWS, we thought mm -hmm, of... Yes. <laughs> We thought of actually creating one or basically creating the most famous one. And this is a little showcase on the first parts of the Northeast Corridor that we built. Currently, it's starting out in Boston and the tracks are laid till Providence. And I actually want to try and see if I can build the Northeast Corridor to Washington Union Station. Which will be quite impressive, certainly. <laughs> it, it'll be an it'll be a six hour ride, and we we're using the uh, Amtrak service, so we're not doing the MTA for now. This might come in later, but for now we're using the um, the Amtrak with the ACS sixty four electric locomotive, and this is what we're going to show you today. We're going to go from Boston South Station over a Boston Back Bay to Route 128. Uh, it, this will be a like a, well, 15 minute drive where we'll tell you about what's going on with the game, where we are currently with development status, and what's there to come. Exactly, and it will be a Northeast Regional service, only to avoid any confusion, because as I'm sure, many train nerds like me know that the Acela is not pulled by a loco, for obvious reasons. I mean, it's a multiple unit. <laughs> the new ones, at least. The old ones, it's debatable, actually. But the new ones are multiple units. Anyway, let's start. <laughs> Link Ming Wizard North Northeast Cor IH, Northeast Corridor. So I have to select the route. OK button. Northeast Corridor. Now, please set the departure time dialog. Hours in 24 hour format text field. Zero. When do you want to start? I think the service I looked at was uh, uh, departing at 9.15. Okay, and then let's do that. 9.15. Blank. Zero deleted. Nine. Minutes text field. Blank. Zero deleted. Five. 15. Okay button. And I ask now, how many coaches? I think, don't the regions pull like 10 coaches? Uh, seven to nine usually. Oh, let's go with 10. 10. Okay. Poor yeah, I mean, she can pull 18, but that's just not. Um, no, okay, let's go with vehicle that. Dialogue. Vehicles list box. Amtrak mod vehicles. Amtrak ACS 64 Sprinter. So, so this is actually something new that people didn't see yet. What we did, we you could now you can now set the time you want to depart. You can actually now create timetables for your routes that you create, and you have the possibility to actually create carriages and put them behind locos. Yes, and we are now going to select the carriages. I just selected the ACS 64, okay, which is a built-in engine, actually, so everyone will be able to drive it. I just thought a second American engine certainly can't hurt. <laughs> select the carriages dial 60 Amtrak and Fleet Coach. Bombardier Amtrak and Fleet Coach. Yeah, the Amfleet coaches. Number of carriages yes. text field. We have a bunch Blank. of code. We have a bunch of carriages and coaches already included, including one uh, container. And a few um, passenger coaches, and they'll they'll be they'll possibly be more included. But you can you have the possibility possibility to create your own actually if you so desire and share with them with the community. Yes, um, there are coaches included for all locomotives included in the game. So of course not for multiple units for obvious reasons, but for locomotives. So you can drive trains with every locomotive you want. Blank. So. Two deleted. One, zero. Ten coaches. Train bus. OK button. Select the weather conditions dialog. Weather selection list box. Yeah, that's also something new. Um, actually, we have different weather conditions. Sunny and rain do the most impact currently, because sunny is yeah basically your clear weather. And rain actually now decreases the ability to break. So you and to accelerate, to... Yep. which and is you, new. <laughs> and, and you actually have to use the sand device to, if you break, to actually break in time. 
uh, because if the way, uh, when the rails get wet, I think we we'll, like we want to plan. We have want to have the same for ice or snow, but we're currently checking or uh, still checking how we can do that and what or how we should do it. Uh, so it differs a bit from wet rails to like rails that are um, iced or have snow on them. Yeah, when you drive through snow, you only have about a fourth of the braking ability that you have when driving through rain just so, for comparison so that will be an, 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 an interesting uh an interesting opportunity certainly to yes to, to, to play around with it but i think for now we should we should go with sunny sunny windy or uh, with sunny? Well, let's, stick, let's stick with sunny sunny okay okay button oh, nice Good. I'll just have this to is also new step away uh go step away from your orbit Okay, this is okay, fine. So, what this is basically, um, now you actually have the possibility to um, walk to the, or move around stations. Or, at least for now, you have the possibility to move towards the train. If, the, if you start a route, you actually have to move towards the train and enter it. And this might get ex expanded upon, like, that you can move through the train... But, yeah, but we're, that's we're not certain yet. That. That's not in yet. Like we're we're thinking about if that would make sense. But let's try. Let's uh, well, start the engine up. Start the engine and get the train and get the and prepare the train so we can actually get battery depart, activated. Depart on time. Yeah, we. I'm sure we'll be late. And there's a lot of outside. In case you're hearing it. Lights activated. Well, until back there, we'll be punctual again. Brakes released. I think I don't have to explain what I'm doing. Pretty obvious. That's the pantograph. Handbrake released. Pantograph raised. Forward. Main switch activated. So now we annoy everyone except us. You actually have to do that. Whenever you take over a new engine, you have to do that. It's mandatory. <laughs> <laughs> Even though no one believes it. Uh, what's the time? 9.35.2. 9.15.0. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> and this, people, is why you call it beta. <laughs> Should I restart it? Doesn't what? matter, really, does it? We are yeah, 20 minutes late. We will we'll see, and what, we'll see why the hell it's doing this later on. It's possibly something in the code, but anyway, let's go. Doors closed. Yes, <laughs> let's go. Um, okay, first departure from inside, second from outside. I think. 56, 280. Is that me, A of B? 3 miles Four. per hour, 9 miles per hour, 22 miles per hour, 19 miles per hour. Automatic speed control activated. The speed limit is 20 miles per hour. Nineteen fourteen yards ahead. There we go. Nine thirty six ten. We're off. Mm -hmm. We are. I think I'll outside. Go outside. Next station. Front. Buffers. In front of the train. Now the train comes from the left. One thousand six hundred and forty yards ahead. Three hundred and sixty seven yards ahead. Inside. What do you think about the Amfleet coaches? They actually have a good sound. Like, they they sound more like coaches. I thought so too. I found the sound and 
just knew that I had to use it. <laughs> yeah. And the Amphletes are actually not the newest ones, they are from the 80s, so it actually works. So, while we're traveling, so as you heard, there is oh, there, are lots, ahead. there are lots of things going on. Um, sound is pretty, sound is one thing we're currently expanding upon. We have the most of the vehicle sounds down, but as you hear, like some of them still need a bit of yeah, the speed is 50 miles per hour. Mm hmm, the crowds. And, uh, 22 miles per hour. Like 40 miles per hour. Atmosphere sounds also need a bit of a, a bit of an improvement. We have a we have a bunch of things planned. Eight hundred and twenty yards ahead. For what's possible, including building uh, stations with different sizes, so you can actually simulate big terminals or small suburban stations. Yeah, or well, stations in the countryside where actually nothing is, like yeah, at the metropolitan line. Forty-seven yards ahead. Yeah, depending on what you need. Um, this is planned also more options for the vehicle editor uh, for the vehicle editor to yeah further the improve. Next 328 yards ahead. Bay. The brakes are already applied. The brakes so, are already applied. And we are already breaking. 219 yards ahead. I have I should activate the bell now, but I won't do it because then you understand nothing. So the the voice will be changed. It's currently just, as ahead. I said it, it's currently a rough project. 82 yards ahead. Yeah, so it's just sad. The voice, the voice will yards be ahead. changed eventually if we get access to better voices. 33 yards ahead. Brakes released. Now we are cruising into the 16 station yards ahead. with 6 miles per hour or 10 kilometers per hour. I actually use the Anglo American system right now. Brakes Only if you ask. The brakes are already applied. Brakes released. Doors opened. There we are. 9.30, Okay. We are punctual, but 20 minutes late. <laughs> yeah, this is great. This, you know, this worked previously. This worked, actually. I don't know why it does now. It worked. Yes, it worked for me, too, for some reason. And it just doesn't make I don't any know what, sense. I, I, don't know what the hell, I don't know what the hell it's doing, but... Whatever it's doing, it should stop doing it. Honestly. Yeah, we have to find a way, we have to squash that bug before things get released. 43 miles per hour, 50 miles per hour. I tested it three times today and it worked every time. So, three times at least that I actually cared to look at the timetable. Yeah, this is strange. Interesting. Have you had this problem? Uh, sometimes yes, I do. But I can't really pinpoint it. Like, I had the problem, yes. I don't know why. Mm, same for me. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. There is no 20 whatsoever. It's nowhere, but it adds 20 minutes. Don't ask me why. So, how many passengers remaining? Oh. None. <laughs> That's 40, 40, that answers the question. Okay. Close doors. Continue. 490. 490 people on board. Doors closed. Ah, no, Outside. I'll show you something. Next station. Front. Back. We're now standing at the back of the train. I'll open the doors again. Doors opened. Okay, they are quiet, so you can't hear it. But when I close them, you'll hear two doors. Doors closed. Buffers. In front of the train. Next station. Front. And yes, you can ride on the buffers, which is actually forbidden, of course. But you can do it. Okay, let's go. With bell or without? Moritz. Mm, yeah, no, they heard it the first time. Let's do it without. Okay. Yeah, then you can hear the sound better. Automatic speed control activated.
speed limit is 65 miles per hour. 53 miles per hour. 68 miles per hour. 65 miles per hour. Inside. Back in the cab again. <laughs> so, 17,600 something yards until Route 128. And we have much longer. 9420. 94246. Ah. Quite a lot of time actually. Some 15 minutes. Yeah, some 15 minutes till we're at 128. Yeah, but we'll be faster. I'm quite sure of that. And you can hear the engine has to work with 10 coaches. 10, yeah, with 10, 10 <laughs> complete coaches attached. Yeah. If I just drive the engine alone, then it would, it would accelerate like an airplane. <laughs> True. Um, yeah, so this is what we're currently having, and um, there's certainly more to come, uh, especially what we're trying to do. Like, build the NEC from Boston to Washington, uh, and possibly then build the Peninsula Corridor from uh, San Francisco to San Jose, mm -hmm. which is actually powered by or uh, used by diesel locomotives. Yeah, the MP36PH3C and F40PH2 and things things like that. Because it's not electrified yet. Mm -hmm. But it'll be until 2024. True, but like for now, we are gonna use the good old diesel, and this is what we're trying to. This is what we'll eventually get to as well. And yes. it'll be considerably shorter than the NEC. Which really isn't difficult at all. <laughs> no, but like my goal for the NEC is basic is to get this first expanded to uh, New York. So New York City or New Rochelle? Uh, in New York City, like I wanted to uh, build it to Penn Station for now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be nice. Then see how it works, and then do the uh, rest down to Washington. Yeah, and if that exists, we could do something else also, because Metro North operates on part of the line. We could take that and build the Grand Central Link or whatever it's called for Metro North to operate from Grand Central Terminal in New York up to, up to New Haven while the NEC. But that's something I might do if I can find the next bit somewhere. Or the data, or both. Yeah, we could actually do that because this would actually like to create a, an interesting network. Yeah. And um, something else that's planned is at least part of the Long Island Railroad because we actually have the data for it, or at least the, the station and, and the time and timetable data. Um, that's actually not basically. I mean, there aren't that many bridges or tunnels. Tunnels, basically none, except the Penn Station of course. True, and like for the Long Island one, uh, we do have a vehicle in mind that we can use. And if we have that, we can actually start building at least one of the routes that's there. Yeah, and we can use the M7 actually also for Metro North. There it's designated M7A, but it's basically the same. <laughs> True, but that's like things at least planned for the US. At least from our side, our beta team possibly has other ideas of what they want to build as well. And they might actually build something. I mean, we already have a few routes that have been built by the beta team. And um, yeah, if this trend continues, then we'll have quite a lot of mods to offer once it continues. True, and this is like where the community aspect comes in because the commu community can community can actually build tracks, vehicles, carriages, coaches, whatever. Um, so this is where what I want, what do we wanted to have that the community can actually get involved and, and build their own yeah routes that they want like virtual routes that they think of, or or uh, those they use on the commute on a daily basis. Yeah, like this virtual city we once asked about in the audio games forum. I mean, it didn't really come to much, but 
<laughs> we might do it anyway. <laughs> yeah, we, we possibly might do it and put it somewhere along the NEC as a sort of in-between stop. Mm -hmm. Let's say New Rochelle is a 20 million mega city with whatever. <laughs> Yeah, but like this is this is where the the fun part comes in, where you want to actually have uh, show you the give or give you the tools to create such a city or to create uh, your own routes you want to do. Yes, you can and create your own utopia. <laughs> if I want to sound a bit poetic. <laughs> yeah, and this is why actually we don't we don't we don't know where this will go, so we actually don't yet have a release date plan, and this is what possibly the most of you want, want to want to hear but we don't have a release plan and actually we won't really publish a release date because we don't know what will be coming we still have a lot of bug fixing to do as you just saw with the time mm -hmm. there there's there's still a lot of things that need to be optimized we're currently like we're rewriting the base of the game system yeah, and, um, I'm currently rewriting some lines that I didn't touch for years, so only for your person. And this is basically why the game is still, yet, yes, it's still pre-release, it works, it works quite fine compared to what it was before, but uh -huh. there's still work to do before we could, can safely say, hey, we're sort of ready to release it to the public. Yeah, but one feature I want to show, which has been requested to me by multiple people, um, is this. 7,834 yards ahead, Route 128. But it actually tells you which station, what station is, is next. True. This was a thing that would work before, before that you would have just seen um, the distance. Mm -hmm. But now you actually see the, the station name. Exactly. And what I've thought about, I mean, I don't know if I'll implement it, but you, I think you know about my head-up display? I think they don't. Well, I mean you. <laughs> so what we actually want to do is like a head-up display or control menu type of thing, you know, uh, in the style of your of a Eurofly menu. So you basically can hit a, uh, press, hit a keystroke. And see a bunch of info on your train, so you can see how many car how many coaches are there, how heavy is the train, how many passengers, um, what's the acceleration speed, what's the deceleration speed, what's the max speed. So you you see a bunch of, of train data. We eventually want to have that included as well. Yeah, and for diesel trains, you of course also see the current range. Because they do actually have a range, even though in America there are some diesel tanks which are about 25,000 liters large, which is just absurd, but yeah. Why not? Hmm, possibly yeah. because it's explosive, but who cares? <laughs> yeah, and the thing is, like, we want to have, we wanna have a, an, an info display. As I said, we possibly also want to have that you can, that you have the possibility to move about the train. For example, if there is a door that can be uh, lo uh, locked or unlocked automatically, you could you would need to do it manually. We're thinking about that to basic to get a bit to have the uh, to have the possibility to move around about the train. But this is still just an idea. And yeah. The only part where you can move around or actually move in a 2D environment is the what you what you saw in the beginning with the uh, possibility to move uh, with the possibility to move toward the train so you can actually get on board. Yeah, and there is certainly a related Easter egg already, but I don't know if even the beta team has found it. I'm not sure. Moritz, I'll tell you later. <laughs> yeah, <we laughs> then you can try. We possibly might have already found one. Probably, yes. Probably, but I don't think you actually have found that one. <laughs> so, we're sort of approaching 128. Mm -hmm. How did you know that? <laughs> but because you checked the distance. <laughs> uh, true. 3,000 yards ahead. 
And how oh, I knew that the game supports a status monitor using a braille display. Braille display. Which is getting pretty interesting if you yards actually ahead. use it and you have the singles ticking down. It's getting interesting. Yeah. It's. I think it's even more useful than in Eurofly, because in Eurofly, I mean, the data isn't as immediately important as it's here. So what we also need to include, or what is ahead. at least a rudimentary US signaling and train safety system. Mm, positive train control. Yep, this is something that ahead. is not yet included, but <laughs> it'll, as you be, can see. <laughs> it'll be, it'll be somewhere, it'll be somewhere down the line. Yep. No pun intended. Um, <laughs> yards ahead. Every pun intended, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, sort of. Uh, but the thing is, this is its plan. It's somewhere on the road map. 1,367 yards ahead. And I mean, we do have a German <coughs> or Austrian train protection system and um, a British one. Uh, the subways also have yards protection ahead. systems. But the German one, actually, it was really hard. Getting all those systems included. Automatic speed control deactivated. 820 yards ahead. I have. I had to break. Um, what do you say? So it's, it's sometimes a bit complicated to actually get all those systems included or get their rules down and break them down ahead. for people who are who not, aren't train nerds. Yeah, to get those to still enjoy or to still have an enjoyable experience. Yeah, that's the hardest part. Actually, I mean, the PZB to program it wasn't. It was hard, but it wasn't that hard. I just had to think about which features I wanted to include and which I ahead. didn't particularly care about. Yeah. True. Not easy. Released. So I think... Outside. Back. Buffers. In front of the train. Next station. We'll listen to us arriving ahead. from the outside. 82 yards ahead. Using the bell. We are nice. Brakes applied. 55 yards ahead. 33 yards ahead. 16 yards ahead. The yeah, interview is hot, obviously. <laughs> brakes applied. The brakes are already applied. Brakes released. Doors opened. And there we are. There we are. 128. Mm -hmm. And this is where actually our demo concludes. We could actually go drive to Providence, but this will take a while. Mm -hmm. Um, I just want to see if we're punctual. We are not punctual. We are late. So, Three minutes. So, this is actually like the current status of the game, including the bug with the time. But I hope actually that this gave you an impression on where we are now and what's there to come in the future. Yeah, which is quite a lot if I may say so. Sure. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. And if you have any comments, yeah. Please leave them down below and tell us what you think. Doors closed. Yeah. Bye. Automatic speed control activated. Thank you.